Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to simplify a radical expression. So what we have here is negative 5 times square root of 8 minus 2 times square root of 8. So when simplifying radical expressions, it's very important for us to understand when we have like terms. Um, and just like when we are dealing with you know, variables, if I had negative 5x minus 2x, since we are both dealing with our x as our terms, we, and they are the same, we had like terms, we could combine this to get negative 7x. Well, when using radical expressions, it's the same thing, except now we're looking for what is in our, you know, our radical, our root. Well, we have square root of 8 and square root of, um, square root of 8 over here. So therefore, since they're the same, we can add and subtract them or combine. So if I have negative 5 square root of 8 minus 2 square root of 8, I can simplify that very similar to that expression to negative 7 times the square root of 8. Now, it's really important for us to make sure that we can simplify um, our radicals as much as possible. So, with going through the simplifying the square root of 8, um, you know, if we were to plug that in our calculator, um, we get approximation of 2.828427, dot, 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 and it goes on and on forever. However, one thing I can do is if I rewrite this as the square root of 4 times 2, using my rules of... Uh, of radicals, I can now take the square root of 4 to give me 2, square root of 4 is 2, 2 times square root of 2. So I'm going to rewrite this, and instead of square root of 8, I'm going to rewrite it as 2 square root of 2. So therefore, on this problem, I'll have negative 7 times now 2 square root of 2. Well, I can now multiply my negative 7 and 2 to give me negative 14 square root of 2. And there you go. That's how you simplify.